This demo introduces the new enhanced data durability feature for unexpected issues in vSense 7 Update 2. We will take a look at how an additional durability component is created when one of the hosts in the cluster containing a data object is unexpectedly disconnected. We will also take a look at the deletion of the component once the disconnected host has been brought to operational. As we can see, we have one vSAN cluster and we have only one VM inside of the cluster for simplicity. The policy applied on the VM is the default one, meaning failures to tolerate of one, RAID 1. Each VM object has one replica and one witness component. Now, let's take a look at what will happen if one of the hosts containing one of the VM objects is disconnected. For example, host 2463. We'll go ahead and disconnect the host and drag it out of the cluster. We can go ahead and refresh the page. As we can see from the physical disk placement section, the object status of the object residing on the disconnected host has been changed to absent, and a new durability component has been created. The durability component will start storing all the incremental writes coming from the VM from the moment that the host 2463 has been detected as disconnected. Now, let's see what will happen if the second host containing the remaining object replica is unexpectedly disconnected as well. This will be host 2466. Once the host is disconnected, we can drag it out of the cluster. Hit refresh again. And as we can see, both components are now absent. And we still have our active durability component. Once host 2463 is brought back to operational, its data will be resynced with the incremental writes stored in the durability component. Let's take a look at the result of reconnecting host 2463. Because we have another disconnected host, the durability component is still active. Once you reconnect host 2466, the incremental writes from the durability component will be resynced with the original data object. Since there will be no more disconnected hosts, the durability component will no longer be needed and will be deleted. Let's see this process now. All the components are now active and resynced with the already deleted durability component. This way the latest written data has been preserved. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to corevmware.com.